what we are doing is specifically restoring seaweed forests. Seaweed forests are as important as land forests because they also take up carbon, they clean up the water around because they sequester nutrients and they also provide a habitat for a, a huge biodiversity of species. Which is not just a, a benefit for the health of the environment but most of our economies that are related to the ocean are based on the health of the ocean and the health of the natural resources. So by bringing back that health we're actually supporting our economies. About 20 to 30 years ago, along the coastline in Cascais, there used to be a lot of kelp. Kelp is disappearing because of a lot of different reasons. It can be from coastal pollution, where it's just these excess runoffs from agriculture and other sources. They re-increase the nutrients in the water and that creates algal blooms, reduces water clarity, and, and kelp suffer a lot from that. Warming sea temperatures, obviously that's an issue everywhere in the world. Here in Portugal, you can actually see it in the north because we have two species that are quite abundant in northern countries and they have their southern range in the north of Portugal, but you can see them already retreating. And then it's also other things like overharvesting or uh, invasive species coming in. We know they are disappearing at faster rates than ever before. So that's the main reason why we are doing what we are doing. We want to bring out the best in this ecosystem and this is restoration at its best. And sea Forester was the trigger to get us moving. It was the best partnership because you have university knowledge and then you have the local knowledge. So the World Wildlife Fund has by now supported Sea Forester with two uh, projects that they were funding. So that initial project was called uh, the Blue Front Yard project and they were really looking at Sea Forester's approach to do restoration. So the same way as you manage your, your forest, your green spaces, your parks on land, you should do it for the ocean in the same way. The second project we got funded was really to look at the restoration technique itself. And uh, it's a quite simple and uh, easy idea. You just seed on, on a stone. You cultivate that in, in, your, in your nursery for around two, three, maximum four months before it's deployed uh, at sea. We don't need specialized people to implement it. Everyone can grab the stones and deploy it from the boat. We don't need specialized divers to do it. So it's the technique that we think it will make the, the difference uh, to go big. With this kind of method, we're facilitating facilities for, for the local community. At the same time, we will provide training that even they can take over these activities and become kind of their, the own guardians of their own blue front yards. So we're helping to initiate projects, implementing it, giving the training. But then in the end, it's really then for the local community uh, to take this forward in the future. The next challenge now is to scale. We want to have hectares of kelp and this is about defining an economic model that is sustainable. Sustainability is not just about the environment. And we want to demonstrate here in Cascais what that building back better is about. Building back better is not making the mistakes of the past. It's about regenerative systems, regenerative economy, and not keeping things as they are, but making them actually better. We're just a drop in the ocean, but it feels so good to be part of a much larger wave.